Rough, a new Python linter that you don't need. There's no shortage of linters available for Python. Take PyLint, Flake8, PyWrite, and now we have Rough entering the scene. Its developers promise incredible speed, which sounds quite tempting. Rough is written in Rust, which is why it's super fast compared to other linters. With over 700 built-in rules, native integration with VS Code, and support for Python 3.12, Rough seems like a fantastic tool to spot errors in a flash. But here's the thing. Do you really need all that speed? We don't think so. In reality, the amount of time a linter spends on checks is not that critical. While it's certainly nice to have VS Code or PyCharm instantly highlighting errors, there are specialized tools for this job. LSP servers with PyWrite support from Microsoft or Guido Van Rossum's MyPy can identify errors, type mismatches, and other issues, all while operating just as fast. Plus, linters are mostly used by companies in the context of CI slash CD. Once you push your code syntax linters, security linters, and other tools get to work. In a while, you get a message telling you where you messed up. So this massive acceleration from rough would come when you don't really need it, when you're taking a coffee break and catching up on the news while waiting for all the checks to complete. On top of that, there's another complication. Like any new technology that hasn't been extensively tested in real-world scenarios, rough may introduce a bunch of conflicts into your development processes. Supposedly, Rough can replace Flake 8 and a dozen of its most popular plugins. But here's the catch. There are thousands of these plugins, and that's just counting the public ones. Companies often create their own plugins, which are crucial for their projects and won't work with Rough because of differences in the plugin writing interfaces. So, do developers need Rough today? Well, it's a great linter, and it could work for those who appreciate Flake 8's popular plugins and don't need customization. But companies probably won't jump on the rough train because they value large ecosystems, years of accumulated extensions, and customized configurations and add-ons. All of this already exists in PyLint, PyFlakes, and Flake 8, and works perfectly fine. Let's hope that the rough project keeps growing and leverages rich ecosystems of extensions and add-ons from other linters. If you believe in this vision, consider giving the project a star on GitHub. We'll drop the link in the description. And hey, don't forget to subscribe to our channel where we share technology news, presentations from our conferences, and educational videos.